I used to hear all the time, in a, you know, you're a little bit bossy, calm-blooded and heartless. When I heard these words for the first time, like I was so deeply offended. I have never perceived myself as a bad person at all. But who could have known that it was happening to me because I just been using wrong and inappropriate communication style almost in all situations. After completing the questionnaire, I got equal points for analytical and directive style of communication. And I was wondering how I ended up using these two styles to interact and communicate with people. Why are they my favorite ones? Well, the question is simple. All therapists say, all therapists say that all our problems, all our present, it comes from our past, from our childhood. <clears throat> the first time I've encountered analytical communication style in school, I was six years old, I was pretty quick with it, I was intelligent, and I had my favorite lesson that is known as logic and maths. And for me, it was just a piece of cake to solve the hardest, like the most complicated task, just in a few seconds. But the easiest one, it was just a nightmare for me because I failed all of, all of them. You would like to know why? Because I was just an attentive child. Now, raise your hand who was an attentive child to at school at the age of six. You see, like, I'm not alone here, but for my parents and for my teacher, it was like their final goal to teach me how to be concentrated, concentrated and super attentive. So my teacher, she was sitting next to me all the time when I was doing my homework, and she was nagging, Ina, stay focused, Ina, concentrate, reread, redone, remake, twice double checking, you could have missed something, I'm absolutely sure. Do you think it was the best advice she could ever give me? Absolutely not. Instead of just thinking outside the box, I've become paranoid. I started rereading all tasks. It, uh, it didn't matter to me if it was literature, mass, no matter what. And the reason, uh, the reason of this thing is that all this concentration Actually, it played a hard trick on my life, and it affects me even nowadays. Of course, I wouldn't say that I work with numbers, I analyze them, or I analyze some data. I do a little bit even more worse thing. I just analyze my life. I analyze everything, from events up to the problems, from my failure and my success. And it is like actually the creepiest thing in my life. And also I would like to say that recently everyone knows maybe, or I've mentioned it before that I sing. And recently I caught myself analyzing how I sing. I started asking a million questions and my teacher, she was just on the edge, uh, on the edge of uh, flying off the handle. Like, and I saw like a red lamp in my brain in a stop asking me questions because you re ask them and you all the time you get absolutely the same answer. Just stop doing that. And sometimes for me, it's just a conundrum how people really put up with me because when I put myself into their shoes, like I feel pity for them. The second, uh, the second style, directive style, I inherited from my beloved daddy. Everyone who has a military person in a the family, they will understand me. Your life, it's not just routine. It's, it's exact, precise, and planned routine. And I want to say that um, I was listening all the time how my father was talking on the phone, and he was pretty brief, and he, all the time, he used to, he used to use three phrases. Yes, sir. No, sir. Good night. It will be done by Monday. And I realized that sometimes when I talk to someone, especially if it's just first acquaintance, I don't reveal extra information about myself as well. Just exact brief information, nothing more. 
And my father, I've never heard that he shouted at someone, never, even people who worked under him, soldiers and etc. But something was wrong with his voice. He never raised his voice. He never, I don't know, he was just, maybe sometimes he raised his voice a little bit, but he never shouted at anyone. He just frowned his face and everyone understood that you have a task to do, so snap, snap, quickly, you can do it right now and it has to be done. As being a daddy's girl, am I worse than him? Can't I control and, uh, control and rule other people? So that's why I sometimes use this technique for my naughty and uncontrolled students, for my teenagers. When they don't want to do their homework, when they don't study uh, the, their words, I just use all my muscles on my face. And I don't know what's going on with my face that time, but just in a second, it just, everything is still. There is a silence and just one answer that I want to hear. I will work harder and everyone is satisfied. When I finish writing the speech, I realize that my behavior plays a crucial role into my interactions. Of course, I can blame anyone that I was brought up like this. You can do nothing with it. And on the other side, luckily, I can acquire new skills to, sh to shape my personality and to try to improve my interconnections with other people. Everyone knows and remembers that a word, it is a powerful weapon that can lift you up and destroy your personality completely. So maybe just right now, it's a perfect time to pay attention to what you say and how you treat other people. And just a little reminder from my evaluator today, please, your words, they mean a lot to me today. So even a slightest criticism will shape my personality. Thanks for listening.